Right, so the new starter motor has arrived and uh, what I've done is um, uh, I have plugged this to a car battery uh, just to make sure that it is in good working order and it is and um, there's a couple of things that I just want to point out very quickly before I start doing the install I give the positive on this side and then because the solenoid takes power from here and um, enables the um, power to the actual motor because the connection to this point is basically a direct connection from the battery so this is always live and what the solenoid is doing is uh, basically connecting the two to uh, give power to the uh, the motor and so once I had given the um, the positive here and hooked up the negative or the earth to the body I simply just did that to give power to the solenoid and the motor kicks in so so that was that and the reason I did this is because when the motor arrived um, this is a remanufactured motor I bought this from Eurocar parts um, and it cost I believe 85 pound or 89 pounds something like that uh, including free delivery and this is a re this is a remanufactured um, uh, motor by um, Delco Remy and it's also available on Eurocar parts website however they charge a lot more um, I've ordered this via eBay and that's been uh, significantly cheaper so the reason I put put the motor onto the battery is because when I got the motor I when I turn this it, this feels a lot more stiff compared to the uh, motor I've taken out and that might just be because that's what that's the way it's supposed to be I was expecting it to be a little bit more um, looser than this so I didn't expect it to be this tight however the, the battery works very well so the solder motor works very well the solenoid does kick in and the um, and the gear does actually shift up cranks and with, with quite a significant amount of uh, uh, power and so I'm hoping hopefully once this is in this will crank the engine very nicely so that's that I'm just going to start doing the uh, installation of um, the starter motor now and I'll record further notes right, while putting the starter motor back uh, you may notice that you have uh, two of these uh, green connectors uh, one of them is here and the other one so these two now just bear in mind that these two are simply connectors for a sensor on the air conditioning pipe and there's the sensor I believe it's a temperature sensor not 100% sure about that but that's where the two green ones connect and so the one that needs to be connected to the motor for the solenoid is this black one and this one here uh, which is, as you can see, is coming through the cable is for the motor uh, which will be a continuous live connection directly onto the motor at the back uh, which is basically here so this is where the black one, uh, so the, the thick black wire connects and this is where the black um, jumper connects um, not the green ones, the green ones are for the temperature sensor so I'm just going to start putting the um, connections on first and then I'll put the bolts back on after installing the motor so now the uh, new motor is uh, start motor is in place I'm just going to put this pipe out of the way and as you can see now that the um, motor is in how much space there really was to actually work on it as you can see there's the main motor there's the solenoid um, you can see by just removing the uh, air conditioning pipes how much space that gave me to disconnect the wire I have actually put the wire back, back again also the black uh, push on um, cable for to power the solenoid so I've got that in place and I have also put the two bolts uh, for the starter motor and that's uh, now actually underneath the uh, 
can feed these pipes and should be able to see them there. So these are the two pipes, so indeed the two screws, the bolts, sorry, for the starter motor. One is just hidden behind this, as you can see, it's there, and this one. These two um, now are holding the starter motor in place, which you can see here. So the starter motor is in. The next thing is um, I'm going to start putting the pipe work back in. Uh, the very first pipe that I'm going to put in is for the um, coolant and this is the pipe that, that came from the other side uh, from the front of the car and the the housing that I actually showed uh, with the two um, two connectors is just here so it's literally right next to the uh, alternator so if you look just behind the alternator that's the pipe I actually disconnected. So really to make this job easy, if I want to just point out which pipes you need to concentrate on, it's going to be the air conditioning pipe and this pipe uh, right next to the alternator. The one that I did point out in, I think it was the second video or so, I suggested that maybe you need to, maybe I will be removing these two pipes, but that's not the case. This one here, so you don't need to remove that. Just need to remove the one uh, which is further back next to the um, alternator. There's not much light here. And this one here. That's the pipe. And the joint actually sits in there. And the joint I'm referring to is this one here. So if you can imagine, this is... Uh, so you have the... Um, the alternator here, the, the pipe from the front of the car goes in there and this pipe then connects onto another um, pipe, so another connection on, on the back. Uh, and also as you can see at the bottom, it is actually letting the coolant into the engine as well. That's the hole that I actually just showed you. So the idea is to put this one back in without the pipe then push the pipe back on. I'm going to put new of these. I'm not going to reuse these clips. Um, so once I've got those in for this pipe and the two connectors for one pipe for here and and one on this side, this that's when I'm going to start putting the air conditioning pipe back in again. So that's basically it. Um, so I'm going to do this job, get all of this in place and then record further. Right, so I've now installed the uh, first set of pipes and uh, these are all the coolant pipes and there are three connectors. I'll put these new connectors in place. Now, important thing with these is that um, because they are, uh, the pipes are actually connecting to plastic um, connectors, so these hoses are actually connecting to the plastic uh, connectors it's important not to torque too much so you have to be very careful because the other rings uh, that I've taken out uh, were properly torqued at the time of manufacturing so um, I've talked to the point where I know that it's not, there's not going to be any leak uh, but I haven't um, tightened them too much so just just about right where I know this there's not the the pipe is not going to come off and also it's tight enough to give a proper seal. So I've now put those three in. The next step is to put the uh, air conditioning pipe back on, uh, at the, which at the moment I'm just, uh, I've just moved it to the side, so I'm just gonna push that back up. Now before I do that, I'm also going to connect the, the green, uh, the two green wires. And uh, I can still see that the solenoid connector is also secure, uh, just in case that had come off. So that's still in place. So everything is now almost ready for the um, air conditioning pipes to be connected again. So I'm going to do that right now.